We're following a developing story this morning. Capitol Hill under heightened security this morning because of ongoing threats from domestic extremists. Nearly two months after the January 6th attack, a bulletin obtained by CBS News warns of more violence with little or no warning. Threat is driven by QAnon conspiracy theory that former President Trump will be inaugurated today. Acting chief of Capitol Police said threats against lawmakers almost doubled in a year. That threat forced lawmakers to change up their schedule. The House was actually supposed to vote on a police reform bill today, but they moved it up and voted last night. It did pass. Michaelia White is joining us live now in Denver. Mech, how do Colorado lawmakers feel about this? Well, Britt, Representative Jason Crow was one of 220 lawmakers who voted to pass the George Floyd Justice and Police Act, it's called. Now that vote happened last night, and the bill did pass last night. So the vote was close, though. It was 220 to 212. It was named after George Floyd, who died in police custody last summer. Of course, his death sparked a massive nationwide movement. The measure includes a ban on chokeholds, carotid holds, and no-knock warrants at the federal level, and it mandates the the use of dashboard cameras. The bill is aimed at holding police accountable, changing the culture of law enforcement and building trust between law enforcement and the communities they serve. Now, some Republicans say the bill would slash police budgets, but it does not do that. Representative Doug Lamborn took to Twitter saying, quote, House Democrats voted overwhelmingly against recognizing the dedication and devotion of our men and women in law enforcement. Hashtag back the blue. Now, we also heard from Democratic lawmakers Representative Crow said it's, quote, time to reimagine what just policing looks like. Representative Diana DeGette added, quote, we need to end the violence that too many black Americans have experienced at the hands of our police once and for all. Now, the bill heads to the Senate where it faces an even tougher fight. Of course, we're going to keep you updated on the very latest with that. For now, though, we are live in Denver. Michaelia White covering Colorado first.